here and then we know that it is, which lovely, it is. excellent right we're away so tell me, this is the second and final review the last ever time that we'll meet like this ever crazy um <laughs> so we're looking Thank at you. your your work uh for form in a formative sense to look to get rid of this right? Yep. to um, make the assessments in terms of criteria. Now, obviously, you are on a mitigating circumstances case, so you've got an extra week. Um, but, you know, we'll take that into account when we're doing a feedback. We, we've we obviously met before and we looked at context and research. This time we're looking a bit more at planning and practical. Yep. But it's just to make sure that everything's going. And you you were saying, obviously, I, like before we were recording this this morning, I had a quick look over it and you were saying, like this is the hardest that you've worked on your website and you're yeah. feeling like quite confident with it Definitely. which is a really good position to be in with you know not long left to go mm. um and and that was is still my biggest worry with you i know that your practical work you've shown consistently with that through the course that your practical skills are at a distinctive level yeah. that you have an in-depth aesthetic awareness imaginative and flexible approach and you've got very good skills that you apply and you work rapidly as well so you create what is effectively a lot of work in a short space of time which is you know really impressive and that bodes really well so with that in the bag and we know that already and I've already seen that that's what I think we're on course for in this project you know all of this is speculative so you can't yep. say definitively <clears throat> that this is going to be a distinction but we know that that's the thing. We know that also that you've really struggled historically with blogging. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this is the major gear or shift, I suppose, that we needed in, in terms of making sure this happens. Obviously, presentation, because of that aesthetic awareness, the presentation of the site is just is phenomenal. It looks lovely. It looks like a page that you would go to for a product that was coming out on Steam or something. Yeah, you know, it feels you. like it's that level of of uh, presentation it's very sort of well thought through and, and effective and it really reflects the context as well so mm. again when we're looking at context it's not just obviously knowing the context of the product and making it look like a world war one page but it's like the fact that it just reflects everything visually yep. you know the font choice the the layout and everything um is, is really nice i really like you know the detailing of that it's not straightforward to go and make it look like all the things mm. are stuck down mm. and stuff yeah, because um, I mean, after like last year when you said about, <clears throat> I mean, like scraping by just on my website, I really, really tried just like you said earlier, just trying to focus on actually making it so it's not going to pull me back. Yeah. It's not going to hold me back. It's not going to stop me from yeah, getting yeah, so yeah. higher than I can actually get. No, that's it. And that would be my concern because obviously now there's more at stake. Last year it was a grade in a, a diploma. This year exactly. you'll place at Stafford. Yeah, my future. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. It's really important that we just focus on this. And one of the things was that it's that what you say in the text is that that reflects what your thought process is. It's not that you have. I know you said earlier, like you were joking, but you said I only, I've used bigger words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. But it is a bit a bit about that. It's about yeah. like using the appropriate language and reflecting yeah. reflecting the right terminology. Mm. Um, but also it's about you saying like I, you know. It, the, for this criteria here, the evaluation reflection, it's not just that fine evaluation you do or writing up what we say today. Mm. It's like what you reflect on as you're going along. So mm. we're looking at, say, merit level reflection about effective communication and analysis and interpretation, independent synthesis, which is basically you by yourself, you've taken stuff and filtered it and said, right, I'm taking this from this, which you're doing all the time. You're saying like from 1917, I've got this sequence where this guy walks through the trench and mm -hmm. then I wanted to use that as a key bit of the mm. trench design and yep. um you know I've, I've looked into the backstories of soldiers and veterans and stuff to find out what happened in the events um because it is it's not a combat game it's a storytelling game yeah, isn't yeah. It? so that's a key thing um and things like this where you've looked at specific models of plane to mm -hmm. inform the modeling that you've done it's all good um is there anything like in terms of context of research? Oh, this was new, wasn't it? This yeah, is the that's feedback new from stuff. from um, someone who worked on a walking sim specifically, or like very high end um, assets. What was it you were trying to? What, what have you learned from this then? What's how it's supposed to take? I mean, just having like just reading what he has to say about. I mean, all of that really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah, just it's just interesting to see how he uh, just a different like point of view of yeah. everything. Just yeah, seeing yeah. what he says and stuff. Um, yeah. I think this pillar drill is like a classic example of like you can almost see that 
the detail in this is like this and again this represents a new challenge for you and that you hadn't previously um like none of your work really used substance before had exactly it. so yeah. this was like you were taking that on because i would normally do like i was always between like low poly or whenever i did like realistic textures or anything it would yeah. always look quite flat because mm -hmm. obviously you wouldn't have that like level of detail but no. now having substance and being able to like paint and stuff on like screws and mud and blood or whatever whatever yeah 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 make you literally just like takes it so far to the next level yeah I yeah and i think it was really important for this project that you pushed something new because we you for knew sure. we knew now your comfort zone mm -hmm. is in unreal and you've mm -hmm. done all that so this is like effectively your challenge it yeah. has been and it's been well we'll see in a minute but what i've seen already is really effective in that so hopefully i think one of the things um this, so like what we've got feedback wise here is is really nice. The questions that you posed to him were really good. I think one of the things that you could maybe just add in a little reflection in here is that like I think the thing that I take from this and, and when you looked at his work, you didn't pick him at random. You're like his work yeah. is really realistic. It's actually got a very sort of military feel. A lot of the I know, things. So, yeah, that's why I feel like the drill because it looks like well, it's not military, but it looks. No, but it does. And this whatever this radio receiver yeah. thing is here, yeah. that looks like it. But um. <laughs> like that looks like something that is in your game and yeah. i think like if you say to like you know if you were to summarize some of the things that he said here and like um reading this a second mm -hmm. i think that the storytelling of the object that, he, that he's talked about there is is what's coming across in your work so if yeah. you were just to summarize and add a little statement here so like one of the most important things that i got from richard is that the idea that actually the work the storytelling through the assets themselves is so important with the considering how they're made and everything like this yeah. this obviously just looks like photographic nearly and yeah. that's where games are going in general mm. so i think like the idea that you're you've got like techniques that you're saying like i'm putting screw heads on things to show that where the pallets would join or where the beds would yeah. join and yeah. things or like the tank you know you put all that detail into potentially a bit of area that's seen for a second but like the exhaust system on the top looks fantastic mm -hmm. you know and that that's not because you just fancy doing it it's because you're like really understanding the importance of of those assets that you can see as from a player's yeah. perspective yeah so a little summary here would be really nice to say like this is something that the particular thing that stuck with me that he said is that the idea that objects are about Telling the story of who's owned them and how they've been, mm -hmm. you know, what their thing is, and obviously war torn stuff is going to be badly damaged, and yeah. I need to get that across in my work. So that would be really nice. Like, yeah, I think that's happened. You just haven't said it there. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think there's some new stuff near the bottom as well. That yeah, we didn't yeah. Look at last time we talked about lighting, lens, yeah, etc. Yeah, finally. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that was our last time. Mm -hmm. All there. Yeah. No man's land. Uh, this, this same yeah, that, you talked about that bog that because that's in your scene now, isn't it? This yeah, like kind of show. crater things. Yeah, bomb craters that are full of water and corpses mm -hmm. and stuff. This this safe room bit I think might be new. Hmm. So you've looked at just feel safe spaces in all games, not just yeah, war like, games. Yeah. yeah, just like how all the lighting is and just makes it look just like warm lighting, really. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's nice. I like the road box. Like, what what's really nice, obviously, graphically, you think. You might be worried about like that not fitting the war theme, but it all just ties together because yeah, it's like you, research. Yeah, that. exactly. It's, and you've not been worried about that. Michael's house. But yeah, like I was saying earlier about big words and stuff, I literally just had like a thesaurus <laughs> open in a different tab and I would write something. I go, nah, it's not good enough. And ample, I just put ample it in. Ample space. Yeah, like exactly. That, yeah. Exactly. That's not a I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. just, copy, just copy a word from the thesaurus, <laughs> just put it in there. Yeah. For that, I can no, that's that. really good. That's yeah. good. But yeah, no, I think like I think it is important. Like Michael's house in that game, in fact, it also reflects the opulence. Like that's the guy who's met, like out of the out of the three characters or the three yeah. main characters in that game. Like you know, obviously Trevor is like their places are much more run down yeah, and reflect uh, them. But his is like yeah, it feels like okay, this is a guy who's like quite a sort of show home, isn't it? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So you've got like the decoration to reflect that. Um, yeah, about like a trench one bit further down. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that quote stuff is new as well. What's this from? Trench safe. That was I just talked about how I'm gonna do a tr I'd like a trench one. What's that's, this? From that's just, that's just that's, no, that's just I just looked up trench. Mm. I think I just looked up like bunker from trench or something. Okay, trench yeah, yeah. bunker or something. Yeah. 
And these are some quotes I got that like I could see someone writing about my game about if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like wrote a little bit about each one. Yeah, because that was the important thing we were talking last time about the idea of getting people someone's backstory into yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. I get the pictures of like each thing as well. Yeah. That's really good. Um, and that's the server. And then that's it. Get feedback on the game. I think you said. Oh, so this is just not saying the results of it. This is just saying you yeah. designed a form, right? Yeah. Okay, so where will we have the feedback? I mean, under that, that, yeah, I mean, That's under that, right? right? That yeah. would go in research. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I think once you've got that, and you can say, like, sure. you know, like the things that I said about the building looking too perfect. Where, oh, yeah, and definitely. Then the blocks. If you add, I think if you get some quotes, and then because you have done, res you've action responses to the survey, so mm -hmm. it's really good. Like, a lot of people wouldn't have necessarily the time to action things. So, yeah. Again, because of the, the rate that you work at, you're able to take on board feedback. You've done that all through the project and done things on the fly, but it's making sure that you just, um, once you've got your feedback, highlight some of the key things that you agree with. Maybe highlight some of the things you disagree with or feel like yeah. are a lower priority as well, and then put that in there and then show the response to that, okay? Um, we got, if we come here, we've got a swap, we've got mood boards. All these, yeah, painting as like OBS stuff on there as well. I think what would be nice to have before this, like as an interjection before you get really going into like I'm making stuff for it, mm -hmm. would be a little bit of the planning. So for plan, my my other concern, obviously, research and context is is looking much healthier than previously. But um, in terms of planning and production, practical, coherent and reason planning, subject engagement, commitment, and realistic evaluation against the aims, detailed and coherent. Uh, directed plan and negotiated subject engagement commitment sorry. basically with i mean continuous engagement and that is all covered you're, you've been on it ever since you've been back out of hospital yeah uh, continuous evaluation you've been you know you're always looking at it and that's why the thing looks so good and i think like you can see part of this is not always just about what's on the site it's like the product mm -hmm. itself reflects a lot of engagement because you've gone oh i'm going back i'm putting the helmet on the end yeah. of the bed i'm moving this lantern here i've done that i've moved this wall or whatever it, it might be um, so that's all really good, but I think part of it would just be a little bit before you get into I'm making a world a war zone, maybe like a bit of the research that you did into sort of trench layout from the mm -hmm. 1917 stuff, and then a mm -hmm. quick um, map mapping making tool. I, yep. I don't know. Did you do you remember I sent that? I tried I tried looking for that last night. That website though. Yeah, I, sent, I couldn't yeah. find it. I went on um, the Teams thing and I couldn't. I was trying to find it on Google. There's so much stuff on Teams that I'm now going to show <laughs> on the recording. Oh, that's just Actually, volatile right now. Um, I did scroll up a little play bit. Testing feedback. Oh, here we go. Dungeon scroll. So I'll send you the link to this. This is um, oh. a really nice drawing tool. Like, and you can get. I think a lot of it is obviously kind of. Um, oh yeah, that looks that looks fine. Though. That looks really like good. a trench, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. That All one right. that one kind of works. So if you go yeah. and and draw right. out the the path, yeah, yeah. you can add. Like you know the the player spawn point and annotation yep. and yep. stuff like that. I think right. you can do. Because I was trying to find, things. yeah, yeah, all right. It's really cool. So like that's a useful tool that would work for you. And I think you can yep. obviously change that. You can fiddle around with loads, but you can all see right. that you can make that more round. Yeah, yeah. All um, right. So I'll send that to you now, but Thank you. and that'll just save you because I know you're not someone who enjoys drawing that much, but that will be yeah. a really useful tool. No, I was, yeah, I was trying to because I remember you mentioning about map builder thing. Yeah, and I'm trying to find it. I think, if, and again, link it back. Don't just say I'm making a map and blah blah blah. Like you could link, you know, you talked about the idea that, um, and where am I going? I'm back to here. You talked about the idea that your, um, you know, the detail of like the fact that you're putting the planes into the scene and you don't want them to be just in the on the no man's land because mm. that wouldn't be right there. They're sort of covered by a forest area and yep, stuff. Yeah. So all those things that you're thinking about, you're thinking on a very high level, and it's just making sure that that thinking is communicated yeah, here. Yeah. Um, that's the bit when I can go, then I can go right. Look, it's distinct, or you know, merit level, distinctive level thinking, because there's that that like yeah. level of thought process is going. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I'm slapping a plane down here or I'm doing this there. And and um, so yeah, that's really important. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to do five. And in the bottom, there are some renders of the biplane and the tanks, but they're they're like a bit out of date. I've like re-textured the tank with all the bolts and stuff, and the planes are mm -hmm. obviously a lot better now, so mm -hmm. trying to redo them. Yeah, I think it's really important. Like, what I can see here is the links between the, um, the guys' work, Richard's work from... Mm. Um, everyone's gone to the rapture and then your stuff like yep. this looks like triple a assets like this this looks like something that's absolutely phenomenal like mm. in terms of that thank you um and so like and equally there's plane and the tank the cinematics and the audio is phenomenal as well if you haven't have you got stuff in there about audio yet at all the, in the research there's like little snippets about the audio oh yeah there was one there. i skimmed over that bit because we'd seen it before yeah, we'll but yeah so i think like when you get to the bit where you're talking about the implementation of audio in your level it's important that you link it to things like cinematic sequences from you know 1917 yeah. or saving yeah. private ryan or you know it doesn't need to be world war one particularly but just mm -hmm. war sequences yeah the idea of the how you create the like because when you're in that sequence and that happens i, think we, I don't know if there's uh, audio on that okay but that's but what, yeah but yeah that, that like does really evoke like a, a fear thing if you, you can mm. sort of put yourself in the place where you would be at at war or whatever you know it's yeah, really yeah. good so just make sure that you just again highlight those things yeah, i need to change all of this this they will need to come off our old ones oh, okay but, all right what's different you well the the tank has got a, it's got a different color on and there's like more mud and there's mm -hmm. like bolts going down it and like mm -hmm. rust and stuff and i think then, it's important to say like this is a previous version and yeah. you could almost do a little thing where you highlight the yeah. changes that yeah. you've made and because you were saying like look it looks too perfect Mm. I wanted it to look more war damaged. Like that one does look like it's a little bit seen some action, mm. but like you know, not really. It just looks like it could have been aged. But yeah. now you've put all burn marks on it and stuff. Yeah, and, and I've got like bullet holes. I think mean, in some of them. Yeah, so, far. so that's really good. And so like I think don't don't just chuck this away. Obviously keep you don't want this if I could much. Do, like of a this. slider or something. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah that. exactly. A, sli a slider would be that, really but, good actually. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, something like that. Or just a before and after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and like I say, the main thing with this is that that. For research is that it's sustained research. This research is going on, mm -hmm. ongoing, and it is because you're like, oh, I want to do this, and you've got obviously you've got this issue at the moment where the landscape is shifting around. Yeah, I need to write. Uh, yeah, and there's problems like that that need to be documented in here. So the problem solving bit, I know that there's been loads of problems, and I'm seeing a lot of it. Again, I just need, and it probably will come out in your evaluation as well. Mm -hmm. But I need to have a little bit more of that explicitly told through this. Yeah, I mean, I was going to write about it one, one, like once I found a solution, so I could like show that I solved mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I mean, we're still but you can on that, you can so. still have it as an ongoing thing, and That's like true. and like there's been already, you know, we had, I know for example with this, I don't know if it's somewhere. Did we see that up here, like the UV issues with that? We didn't that? actually. No. I completely forgot about that. So, but that was a major thing. That was like half a day or something, wasn't it? That yeah. The UVs are bugging on the um, yeah. propeller and and actually on the plane itself. That's quite a time-consuming thing. I think I've got fix. screenshots of that as well. Yeah. Really early on renders of the. Not on the book when I first put the bike yeah. into substance, and if it's not, it doesn't matter. You can just say about the fact that it, it happened, yeah. and then the fact that it's been resolved that's a problem. So, UV texturing is one problem. I know you've had the map stuff in Unreal is another. Yeah, we've got obviously the tank track animation at the moment, but we've had animation issues where the propeller wouldn't follow in the plane and stuff. Yeah. So, you've already got things that like, like that that can be documented and added to it, yeah. right? Yeah, there's tons of things that like you can add, but you don't need to do like all of them. I know, like. That might feel daunting, but just breaking it down yeah, into say texturing yeah, yeah. issues, animation issues, and um, I don't know, just like mechanic stuff. If there's any been any things with blueprints just not firing or not working or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. um, I mean, with my actual like practical work, I think the end of it will probably be in the forest that I'm making. Mm -hmm. I think it will end around something in there. Mm -hmm. So then, I mean, for the last I don't know half a week, yeah. and then that extra week I have as well would literally just be website work from mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. um yeah great and i think um if you put in um this sort of the progress shot's nice where we see some stuff in there like make sure you show some stuff from editor i think a lot of what you're showing is very slick and looks yeah. it looks like almost end product yeah a little bit more of process um to break down is important so let's see you know like the shots like this where we see the software being mm. used mm. or if you've looked at a tutorial you said you know i know i remember you back along before you started this you could add that to research that you looked at that um, making this the uh, texturing and substance. Oh yeah, on that, the, with that um, the roller skate. Or yeah, whatever it was. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
again you could just put that into your research page and say like this was a crucial pro yeah that was a key part of it because that was you definitely. going actually i can definitely do this and mm-hmm. i and i'm mm-hmm. like you know from that you've taken it and that right. and learned those are new things but those are bits that would be really nice to have in there yeah. um then the last bit is obviously capturing the feedback from the thing and other than that i think you know just keep on plugging away with what you've got going it looks lovely all of it looks phenomenal and and uh, most importantly unlike before it's not style over substance now you're like the reflections in here are, are much more informative mm. um and uh, you know you're you can see that you're really trying to um kind of push the envelope and make sure that it's 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 uh much better yeah. i think you could also talk about the idea like one of the frustrations with Unreal 4 before, which you haven't obviously had now, is the whole building lighting. Yeah, Imagine that's building true. lighting that's in true. this. It would be yeah, an absolute be, pain in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but this real-time lighting has meant your workflow is far more, like, progressive. Yeah, I don't have to wait 10 minutes every yeah. time I put something in. Especially with fog. It would have, like, historically, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been a long, long time to build all no, that. No, that's true. I definitely write about that. Um, and so, yeah, and we obviously, you know, have got loads of things going that are working. Um, you got any emissive textures in there this time? I it? haven't. There's nothing emissive no. in there at all. Because we had obviously all the issues with that in that the last one. Bleeding month. through. Yeah, that was, that not was that you the would. one. That yeah. Even, yeah, that was easy to do. But I yeah. suppose nothing would glow in this other than like maybe buttons or something. Yeah, because the so. lantern in it. I should write about the lantern as well because I made like a particle system. I had to figure out how I had to scale that down. Like the whole, oh, yeah. Because it's not as easy as in just grabbing it and scaling it no, down. No, you have to no. like change some stuff in the settings. Change the stuff. parameters of it. Yeah, that's really good. And again, Absolutely. you probably you might have looked at a tutorial for that. Yeah. If you did, don't feel like you have to separate <clears> that back out. Like the roller skating substance thing would probably be better because that was before you got into making. Yep. But like the lantern, if you have the, the picture of the lantern, say down here, and then you've got the particle control scheme yep. opened and yep. it's captured. Yeah. And then you've got a tutorial that you looked at to show which of the settings to mess with mm-hmm. to make it the right scale. Perfect. Like yep. try and get some research plugged in here that shows like I've looked at this to resolve this. Or I've set up a right. log based on this tutorial or whatever. I could definitely do that yeah. lantern, and I'll do the roller skate one yeah and um yeah all the other things are filled out as well i've done my bibliography the authentication thing yeah i think what else is show a bit of the blueprinting because you've done something again the thing to the thing that you might do is like take stuff for granted like you you're implementing a lot of the same techniques that you used in your liminal game from mm-hmm. last year mm-hmm. in terms of like you know um, trigger box mechanics and Definitely. stuff but just make sure you show them here because yeah again it's just highlighting like you're applying knowledge that's pr- prior knowledge but it's just making sure that you know you're getting the credit for it basically yeah you don't need to do everything you don't I, you know i don't need a breakdown of the you know the chairs or the whatever you're mm-hmm. doing it right you're doing like the key assets and the key processes of those assets like yep. you've not gone oh here's a ladder here's a pickaxes or whatever you yep. know that's good but you just like that's the the last bit i suppose and then the play testing there okay yeah great all right then i'm happy if you are yeah thank you um let's stop recording